Ushered in by a pandemic-weary world, 2021 started without the usual New Year's Day fanfare. A dominant theme as the year rolled in was hope. Hope that the world will overcome the economy battering COVID-19 pandemic. Hope for recovery. Hope for security. For a country without the savagery of bandits and terrorists, free of the security challenges threatening the nation. The president echoed this hope in his New Year's speech. The year 2021 will indeed be a year where we will work to reinforce the hopes of fellow Nigerians. But 2021 had its own ideas and it took us on an emotional roller coaster. We had tragedy. Air Force plane on surveillance mission to Niger State crash lands in Abuja, killing all passengers and crew on board. I saw the pilot, the pilot was struggling. Children were taken away from schools. We are ready to, to negotiate the life of our children. Many returned. I give God all the glory. But others didn't make it. Uh, the law enforcement agencies are working hard. There were setbacks. Tonight, emotions run high as the remains of the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Ibrahim Atahiru, and other officers who died in yesterday's plane crash are buried at the military cemetery of Buja. The war against insecurity seemed insurmountable. Gunmen again raised the divisional police headquarters in Aimimbano, local government area of the state. It wasn't all violent. We made it to the Olympics. The Paralympics. The year had its share of protests and outrage. We have never had it worse. There were shocking murders. When I stabbed him the, the first one twice, I threw the knife on the bed. And a pandemic that refused to go away. Right now we found, as of this morning, 32 confirmed cases of the Delta variant in Nigeria. 32. Even as we struggled to stand in queues, <laughs> we got help. And bans. The federal government wields big stick on social media microblogging platform Twitter suspends its operations in Nigeria indefinitely. The government has decided to add Nigeria to the travel red list. A decision by the British government to put Nigeria on the red list is unjust and discriminatory. The political drama never stopped. But you know inside you inside your heart that we are not about stamp since 2019 i have not had anything to do with any political organization in this country we had wins And a Nigerian made history. Tragedy never stopped. Tonight, multi-story building collapses in the Koyi area of Lagos. 
and there was a whirlwind of controversies. We had sad goodbyes. Closed major deals and made gains from tech. In 2021, we got stolen artifacts back and we were royally blessed. And I decree unprecedented and uncommon peace, prosperity, progress, development upon this land. 2022, be nice.